Hello, you're welcome to Digital Stream Tutorial. My name is Christian from Digital Stream. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to insert uh, data into two different tables using uh, PHP. Uh, first of all, what we actually did was to create a form down here, and the form uh, has an action page of index.php and a method of post and has a uh, one two three four five six so we has first name last name user name which is user id uh, pwd which is password and then the message and then the submit button so let's head back to, let's head to our browser so you see exactly what we're building so this is just a basic form i know it might not be looking too good but uh i actually did this because of a friend that demanded for uh a video of this kind on how to insert uh uh, how to insert data into two different tables so this is the form actually and then I also created a database called uh, insert2 and the database has two tables currently so you have the articles table and the users table so right in the users table I have the first name last name username and then password then in the articles table I what I just have in the articles table is just uh, message so ID and message so this year will be storing the message from this form so this message will be stored right here why the uh, right here the first name last name username password will be stored in this user's uh, table which is first name last name username password okay so uh, I'm just gonna test this out so that I see how this works so this let's just uh, register a user so say uh, bright as a user bright and then uh, the last name is still Oh, could be bright two, and then the password could be bright three. Sorry, bright three. Sorry, the username is bright three. I could just password as one, and then I want to type a message. I want to say this is my first message to be stored. All right. So as soon as I click on my submit button, okay, you see your form was successfully submitted. So let's head back to our database. And then let me just refresh the users uh, so we can see what happens. Alright, so as you can see in my database, uh, bright, bright one, bright two, bright three, everything is actually stored. So let's head back to our articles table. And let's see. So you can see this is my first message to be stored. So everything is working correctly. So let me just get this deleted so that we can actually have new data inserted. So let me also go to the users and delete uh, the just registered user so delete okay alright so let's head back to uh, let me just refresh this alright I what I actually want to do now is I have the PHP code processing this up here so let me just get this deleted so that we can start from scratch alright so uh, so right now we have our form set so if you know uh, you've not set your form please go ahead and uh, have your form set up right here uh, I just included all this in DIVs so you can decide to do yours anyhow but if you've not if you really don't know how to set up a basic HTML form check my other tutorials I have tutorials on this also so let's quickly jump into this so I want to say uh, the, our submit button name is submit so I want to say if the submit button is clicked so I want I up here I say if uh, it's set then uh, dollar sign underscore post uh, submit submit so if the submit button is clicked the first thing I actually want to do is to create a database connection so I want to say uh, con dollar sign con for connection is equals to my sqli underscore connect okay so and this is my sqli underscore connect uh, I need four parameters uh, the first parameter is going to be your your server name I'm using a local host so local host and then comma uh, and the next uh, parameter is then going to be your your server user name mine is root uh, space comma then the third one is now going to be your password currently I have no password 
so if you know you're using a exam server uh, defaultly then you also need to use the setting I'm actually setting up here so the last uh, uh, parameter is then going to be uh, your uh, your database name mine is insert two. alright so I with this I think my database connection should be up and ready so the next thing I actually want to do after connecting to my database is to get the user input so the user input here we have uh, the first name the last name UID PWD and then the message so I want to create a variable for those names so I want to say first name first name is equals to uh, dollar underscore post alright so inside there is gonna be the first name which is F name sorry in small cap F name okay alright so I'm just gonna be copying this uh, to make it a, a little bit faster for time sake so the next one is gonna be the last name so I'm just changing this to last name and then right here we change it to L okay so thirdly is gonna be the username so I wanna change this to user uh, username and then uh, right here we have uh, UID UID and then up next we have uh, the password P okay, I just use password. Pass oh boy, sorry. Password and then uh, right here is called the PWD PWD and then uh, finally we have the message. So I'm just gonna be calling this message message and then right here we have message message uh, so please if you know uh, you're not actually following along with this you might be wondering what is post if you are new to PHP I have a complete PHP course tutorial in my YouTube channel please just go back and watch this tutorial you really understand what is happening here so I'm just going to use uh, uh, just one minute to explain this so we are using dollar underscore post this is actually a variable we are assigning the name from the form to this if you check on our form here the method we have is post so we are using this post method to say dollar underscore then the first name the last the last name the UID the PWD the message so we're using this post up here to get all this in the form so that's why we have dollar underscore post first name last name UID PWD and then the message okay so now we have all the uh, inputs from the form the next thing to actually do is to insert this I'm not going to be doing any error handling currently I have because I already have courses for I already have PHP tutorials for error handling so check out my page my youtube channel and from for all that for all that okay so i want to query this i want to say dollar sql is equals to and then i want to say uh, uh insert into users so the users is the name of my table so i want to say insert into users the name uh the uh the columns we actually have in that table the users table uh let me head back to the users table okay ready in the users table all right so the columns we have here is id first name last name username password we are not working with id currently because id has been set to auto increment if you don't understand uh, much about <coughs> excuse me if you don't know much about a database uh, check out my tutorials on database also first name last name is a name password this is exactly what we're going to be inserting so let's head back to our code uh, I want to say insert into first name comma last name comma username comma password alright so and then what do you actually want to insert into these uh, tables into these columns so I want to say values and then uh, brackets uh, before this bracket I want to move this to the next line so we have enough space so remember you have to delete this other as uh, double quotation and then delete one from here so you have only one quotation and also delete this full stop because of the enter button you pressed so uh, we have another uh, uh, bracket open and close bracket 
and then inside there I want to insert in this uh, value uh, variables so let me just copy this to save me a little time and then double uh, uh, sorry quotation sign the inside paste out size comma all right so I want to say the next uh, this thing is going to be the uh, last name so dollar score last sorry last name and then the next one comma is gonna be a uh, username username sorry remember to include the dollar sign else it will be misinterpreted okay and then space inside you also have the uh, password uh, password I remember your dollar sign uh, currently I'm not going to be including the message here because the message is not to be inserted inside this very table there's a different table for the message so uh, with this uh, insert function up here I think we are cool with the form itself so the next thing I actually want to do is to query this uh, SQL so I want to say dollar underscore I want to just want to call it query you can decide to call it anything you want so I just chose to call it query so I want to say my s q l i underscore query query and then the first thing you actually need is your database connection uh, dollar con which is this up here uh, the name up here so you, you need the database connection right here which is con and then the next parameter is going to be this very query we have up here so we want to put the in, uh, mysql insert uh, query so we want to say dollar sql alright sorry sql okay so having done this uh, to actually query the next uh, uh, table we want to use an if statement so we want to say uh, if if uh, query so I want to say if this query goes true so let me just copy this if this query goes true that means if this query is successful then I want to do this I want to insert the next uh, I want to actually want to insert the next uh, the next variable up here which is message so I want to say uh, query 2 let me just call this dollar sign s QL2 is equals to uh, ins insert into uh, articles, which is the articles table. Articles. So, what do you actually want to insert into articles in brackets? I want to say message because that is the only uh, column outside the ID. Uh, if I go back to my database. And I head to articles. Uh, you see, uh, the table right there is message. So, we want to insert into message. Alright, so let's get back. So, insert into message, then the values. Values. So, what do you want to insert into message? In a, a single quotation, I want to insert this message into message. So, I want to say dollar, sorry, in small letters, message. Alright, so. The next thing to actually do is to query this. So I want to say a uh, uh, dollar. Uh, sorry, uh, query two. So I want to say uh, result is equals to my SQLI underscore query, and then brackets. I want to say uh, my connection to my database. I remember exactly what we did there is what we are actually repeating here so I want to say con and then SQL2 so I want to uh, write here it's going to be con con comma space uh, dollar and then uh, S Q L 2 alright so that is it for now uh, okay except you are having any errors but outside that I think everything should be working correctly so one more thing I actually want to include here is uh, if this is successful I just want to say uh, echo uh, 
your form was successfully submitted else I want to say so if this does not go through I want to say else echo there was an error in submitting your request sorry your form okay so I also need to close this here alright so what we actually did there was uh, we said if the submit button is pressed well, we use the ESET function then connect to our database and our database name is localhost then the, the uh, our database local and then the username is root and then the password is empty and then the database name is insert two. so connect to the database and then run this other code this other code is actually to get the uh, inputs from the form and then assign them to these variables over here called first name last name username password and then message so what we then did was to insert into uh, users uh, which is the user table in our database this first name last name username password these values so here are the values first name which are our variables up here username password we did not include the message because the message is meant to be in a different table so what we actually did was to uh, run the mysql query which is uh, 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 we connected to the database first and then run this query up here right here so we now said if this query right here is successful then uh, run another query for us so insert into articles which is the second table message the values is actually the message you have up here so if and then we actually run the query right here which by connecting to our database again and then running the second query which is this and then uh, finally we now said echo your form was successfully submitted else if this is not successfully sub submitted we use the x function over here and then we now said echo there was an error in submitting your form so if we don't ha if we don't really have any errors this code should be running perfectly so let's head back to our browser and then refresh this all right so let's go ahead and type uh bright uh, bright two, bright two, and then uh, the username could be bright three, and then the password could be just one. Then uh, the message could be I am the right in the users table, and this is my articles alright so let me submit this so there was an error in submitting your form okay so we just want to check out what the error is uh, but we don't really have any error so if it's set post submit okay so where did the error come from query to insert into users first name last name so first of all let me check my database I, I don't really understand where that error is coming from I want to say users okay there actually there was an error so okay so let's head back to our form and see what the error actually is so I wanted I said if this was successful so query my SQL underscore query con and then so I wanna say uh, insert to okay. Insert into articles. Oh boy. So where is the error actually coming from? Oh uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay 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 yeah i i see i see so right there we are not supposed to uh put any other comma here because uh this is actually the last statement so this we are not supposed to be any uh, separation right here so i 
said there's another error but I think that is it so let's just save this and then head back to our browser then try this out one more time so let's see bright bright to bright user bright u bright u i d p w d then the password the uh, the text this is my first test for testing this out alright sir so let's check it out submit ok as so you can see your form was successfully submitted so let's head back here and then check our users alright so we check here bright bright 2 by UID PWD so articles alright so as you can see down here this is my first article for testing this out so everything is working perfectly as it should so thank you very much for watching this tutorial uh, uh, I hope you really understand because it's really that simple you run the first query and then you now use the if statement to ch uh, check if this query is true and then you run the second query so uh, I urge you to subscribe to my youtube channel and to my friend that I actually did this tutorial for uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial please also ensure to share this uh, tutorial to others and encourage you to subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next uh, PHP uh, tutorial and also if you want me to do any tutorial for you please you can leave a comment in the comment box and I will do that I will check it out and do the tutorial for you if I can alright